Anyone there? Captain Smith? Captain Smith, do you say stop? Stop. Wait, wait. No, I don't know, but I, I, it was right next to me. It, it was watching me. Yeah, yeah. Lie, 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 lie. Come on. Look at that monkey. There it is again. Looks human. Yes, it does. Because if he's been able to survive here, he might have some answers. All uh, right, uh, excellent point. Listen. Maybe he was leading us to the river. Smith, well, I don't get it. What the hell are we gonna do now, hmm? We move in. Well, where? Up there. It's awfully high, isn't it? Well, that's the idea. Neb, how much of that balloon was intact when you landed? Make some beds. 
time for basket. Bring him some supplies. Yeah. Some food, too, I hope. Huh? You wish to see me, sir? Get the ship ready to sail. I want to leave at first light. Uh, the men will be very happy to hear that, sir. <laughs> We're not going home, you fool. You take the ship round the other side of the island. But, uh... Oh, what? And they'll do as I say. Right, get on with it. Yes, cut. He's on. Home. And it's only just hit me. Don't know how long we're gonna be living here or if we'll get rescued or. I just wanna go home. Your tea, sir. Put it on the table, Joseph. What is it? I'm worried about them, sir. You don't want to talk about it? They made their choice. Don't you think you're being a tad unreasonable, sir? But this is my home. I live here to do important work, not to keep it as a rescue operation for wayward travelers. But the women. The young girl. That's enough, Joseph. Yes, sir. When we attack, we act quick and we look smart. Captain. What? You know, I was thinking it might be a good idea if someone were to stay behind, keep an eye on the ship. What about if I take a long, jagged knife? Stab you? Oh, 50 times. Oh. Maybe I'll just get the landing party together. <laughs> Good idea. Hmm. I do 
to his home. What do you miss? Bed linens. <laughs> soldiers over there. You think a single charge will do it? How old are you, son? Fourteen next month. Are you a fast runner? You said the boy. Yes. I did. He was carrying an explosive charge that was set to a timer. Once it was tripped, there was no way to stop it. up to be a father. He said he could run like the wind. Nothing of interest to you, sir. You've been outside the gate, haven't you? You've been checking up on them. They've set up home. Water supply, food. And they've created a life for themselves, sir. Do you know, I can't remember the last time we had neighbors. I gave them a chance to make a difference in the world. They turned me down. you first. My name's Helen. Got no bullets. My name's Blake. 
Where did you come from? You ask a lot of questions. Are these safe to eat? Captain Cyrus says they are. Who's Captain Cyrus? He's the man who brought us here. Us? Me, my mother, and a few others. Thanks. So how did you get here? I came with some others. Those who weren't eaten left me for dead. These creatures, these huge... I don't know. Don't know what they were. You should come back with me. There's others there and we've got food and water. I don't think I'd be welcome. I'm a pirate. A pirate? You don't look like a pirate to me. Well, trust me. I'm a killer. We should find some shelter. I oh, know just the place. Come on. Even the rain's bigger on this island. So, you're a pirate? Actually, I was kind of adopted by one. Never really had a choice. It stopped raining. You should go back to where you live and tell the others to be careful. Why? You know, the people I work for, they're not very nice. Well, I wouldn't want to see anyone get hurt. Especially not you. And don't tell anyone I'm here. Let's keep this our secret. You should come back to Limestone House with me. No, I'll be fine. Maybe you could come and visit me? Maybe. Oh, and Helen. That medallion around your neck. Most pirates are killed for that. Be careful. about you lads or we'll all end up as lunch for one of these monsters think we should head easier captain we should see something soon
I'm Blake. My name's Blake. What are you doing here? Look, I don't want to hurt anybody. I'm like you. I'm stranded here. Yeah, what about him? Huh? Huh? I got hey! your tongue. Leave him alone. He saved my life. The one who led us to the water a while back, aren't you? Huh? Whoa, 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 hey, hey. Atherton. It can't be. It's been a while since I've been in company. It's quite all right, Mr. Atherton. Your table manners are only a notch below our own Mr. Bancroft. <laughs> Thank you, miss. It's been a while since anyone's called me by my given name. And if it's all the same to you, just call me Atherton. All right. How long have you been surviving here, Atherton? I don't know. Long enough. It's got to be eight years at least. So how do you two know each other? The Nalga. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the, uh, the what? It's a pirate ship. So you're a pirate? I was. I'm originally from London. Blacksmith. I fell on hard times. Lost my job. Everything. I went to sea. And that's how I ended up on the Nalga. How'd you come to be on this island? I had a disagreement with the captain. Over what? There was a mutiny. You were involved? I led it. I imagine your captain didn't take too kindly to that. You could say that. That's why he left me here stranded. <laughs> Suppose he thought I'd be dead by now, eh, Blakey? We all did. Uh, how did you get here, Blake? The same ship. Came back. We sent out a scouting party, and I'm the only one who survived. When I went back to look for the ship, it had gone. There was a ship? Here? Pirate ship. Why does the ship keep returning to this island? Isabella's gold. That medallion there. It's one half of a treasure map. See, old Bob's got the other half. As far as I know. But, uh, how much gold are we talking about, uh, Exactly. Enough to make you and everyone you know extremely wealthy for the rest of your lives. Oh. You're sure this ship has left these waters? Oh, I can't be sure of anything. Oh, more reason to finish the boat, get off this island. Well, we've just gained the help of two more men. You mean you'll let us stay? Well, I believe I speak for everyone here when I say that you two are welcome at our limestone house. I'm sure this is rather traumatic for poor Atherton. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're in for quite a surprise. Captain? Neb, if that medallion is half of a treasure map, then they'll be back. Yeah. It's also possible that they never left. We're scouting this island, and they've anchored somewhere we haven't seen. Hope we find them before they find us. <clears throat> May I present the new Mr. Atherton. <laughs> well, who are you, sir, and what have you done with Atherton? <laughs> well, I didn't even recognize myself for a minute. I like your hair like that. <laughs> We can give her a test run soon. See, that, that's it. We'll be home before you know. Now, meanwhile, gentlemen, perhaps we could uh, lay our hands make gold. No, thanks. I've seen far too many men die already over that gold. I'm with him.
Oh, please. Perhaps it is difficult to obtain, but ain't that, you know, true about most things worth having? Look, the only men to go after Isabella's gold are dead. Use your head, Pencroft. Sounds like good advice to me. The best reward is getting home. Here, here. Yeah, well, you may well have lives to return to. But for some of us, turning home with wealth beyond our dreams could make all the difference. Mr. Pencroft, I've been on this island eight years. You ain't ever gonna find me going after that gold. Eight years. You ever come across anyone else on this island? You talking about Nemo? I am. Well, he let me in past his fence once. When he found out who I was, former pirate and all, well, he soon showed me the door. <laughs> Next time I went to call him, he greeted me with gunshot. Sounds familiar. <laughs> Kept myself to myself after that. Uh. Can't say as I blame him, though. I wouldn't trust me back then, neither. Now, been here all alone so long, this island, I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you, Captain. That little beauty over there floats. I'm going home a changed man. If we survive this, we all will. Captain Harvey, sir. What? The men were wondering, and I drew the short straw. Go on. What are we doing, sir? We're waiting on treasure, boy. Yeah, we know. But without the other half of the map. We'll find the other half of the map. But how, sir? I know this island, boy. Now, if what they say is true, we'll find the other half of that map at the mouth of a tunnel on the way to the treasure. And you know the way? Just getting up a search party, boy. You can go out in front. Take one of your men. But, sir... Well, you can walk the plank! Dropped anchor last night. Yeah. Let's get the others together. Everyone. The Naga is anchored just off our coastline. Oh, Bob's back. Looks that way. Well, we better make ourselves scarce. Well, or uh, maybe we could swim the ship by reason, huh? No, uh, Atherton's right. We lay low until they're gone. We should camouflage the raft. It's a good idea. Um, let's go. he would. All he thinks about is that gold. Why didn't you say anything? It's okay. I have an idea. They want this, the map. I'm gonna give it to them. I'll leave it on the beach, they'll find it, get their treasure, and be on their way. No, uh, now, now, wait one cocktail moment, now. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that. Why not? Well, well because the, uh, the medallions are only form of leverage. Well, well uh, uh, think about it, yeah? They want it, and we got it. Now, if they do find us, it's probably the only thing that's gonna save our lives. Uh, uh, our bargaining chip, so to speak, huh? This is Bob Harvey we're talking about. He's not gonna bargain. He's gonna take what he wants, then he's gonna kill us. Atherton's right. There's no talking with him. No. He didn't kill you? Ah. Yeah, well... That's because we're related.
Atherton's my first name. My last name's Harvey. He's my brother. Your family? Well, why the hell didn't you tell me, huh? Last time I saw my brother, he made it perfectly clear. Next time he sees me, he's gonna personally slit my throat. Oh, come now, that's just probably affection. Now, my oldest brother used to hold my head on the chimp for hours. He's, oh, yeah, hmm. Well, that explains a lot, Mr. Pencroft. And your brother ain't Bob Harvey. So that's that, then. I'll leave it someplace conspicuous. If that medallion isn't back exactly where you found it, they'll know someone else is here. He makes a good point, miss. He might already be here. No, I doubt they'll risk the creatures on this island at night. But I've been there more times than anyone. I can find it. Helen, it's too dangerous. Staying here, Helen. Thank you. We'll take shifts at the mouth of the cave until morning. Captain Nemo! Captain! A word! Joseph, can't you see I'm busy? On my rounds of the island, I made a most disturbing discovery. A pirate ship. They've dropped anchor. They're most likely already on the island. Make sure the fences are in working order. Of course. Sir. <laughs> what is it, Joseph? I see no reason why our neighbors should be victimized by these louts. Let them take care of themselves. We weapons stockpile, they're of no use to us. Joseph, they humiliated me. They ridiculed my life's work. But, sir... Let them take care of themselves.
We gotta go now! We gotta go! What's the matter? What's the matter? The pirates have taken Helen. They've taken her on the ship. She must have tried to take that medallion back. We're going after her. We have the outnumber, Captain. We have no choice. Captain Smith, just this once, we gotta go to Nemo and get some real weapons! Nemo's not gonna help us, Pencroft. We can't swim with weapons. Well, we know the ship. I can get to Helen easily. All right. Then we're in and out as quick as we can. The sooner we go, the better. All right? Good. They got Helen. We'll get her back. We'll get her back, don't worry. Good work, lads. Perfect match. Do you have a name, Missy? <laughs> Helen. Helen Harvey. Yeah. What nice ring to it, lads, don't you think? Well, Missy, my name's Bob Harvey. Soon to be the richest pirate ever to sow the sea. You have what you want, just let me go. Give us a kiss. <laughs> Feisty little thing, isn't she, lads? <laughs> Gee, Lola, see if that'll change your affections towards me. And if it doesn't, she can walk the plank. <laughs> have it, away, but just so you know, I moved the gold. What did you say? I found the gold and moved it for safekeeping. Take her downstairs and talk to her, lads. And when she's told you what she's done with the gold, we'll have her for dinner. Depending on you to find Helen and get her safely to the longboat. She's all I've got now. Please, just trust me, Cyrus. Remember, get her out as quick as you can. I'm just gonna have to hurt you. <laughs> you and who are me? <laughs> well, yeah, that one. Get Helen.
filthy beggars the lolly are. <laughs> Come for me. How could I resist? Oh, darling, I've missed you. Are you crazy? You gonna get us all killed? I wish you'd stop doing that. Let's keep us. Would you come on? Let's get out of here. Thank you. Get in. You must be our guests. I don't like guests. And I'll have me medallion back before I kill you. Uh, medallion, uh, what, what medallion's that, huh? You're gonna need more than a couple of men to take us. Will I really? Men! Send me to die on that island. Trader, I treated you like a son. Let's get off this boat. Yeah. Medallion, if you will. Oh, I don't have it. But I'll have the girl back to over our dead bodies. That can be arranged. Row out the two.
Give me them guns, boys. They're getting away. Give me that. Hello, my friends. These are repeating rifles. They're another invention of Captain Nemo. Well, whatever it is, we're gonna need it. Have we met? Many years ago. <laughs> Let's move. They're right behind us. Thank you, Joseph. You've given us a fighting chance. Good luck. Yeah. You and Pencroft take up position on our right flank. Atherton, you and I will hold position at that point. Pencroft! Jane, you and Helen secure the cave. If necessary, that's where we make our last stand. We'll be all right. Godspeed!
gave me much choice, Bill. You could have been rich and powerful like me if you'd have took my commands. Guess I could never take orders from a common murderer. You was always a spoiled brat. Call your men off, Bob. And you can take your ship and go back to wherever you came from. Come on, you ain't got the stomach for it, you never had. You can shoot your own flesh and blood, could you? Give the order, Bob. I'll count to three. One. Two. All right, all right, have it your way. I'll see you again, little brother. Not if I can help it, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> for your fellow man. A man lives his life, Joseph. He sees human beings as they are. His views change. No. People may disappoint you, but helping them, having compassion for them, that's what makes us truly human. Already know that. It's the reason you built the Nautilus. I have no feelings for these people. And both of our lives are ending, I'm afraid. 
have faith in you, Captain Ingo. Perhaps more than you do of yourself. feeling about this. Should we set sail, Captain? What out my gold? Don't be so ridiculous. Fire them cannon! So we're safe. No offense out there. I'd never trust a pirate. Oh, great. Again. Neb, Atherton, we're gonna need more logs. Oh, I sir. See how many of these you can still use. All right, Captain. Pencroft, salvage as much rope as you can. Uh, stop it all. Huh. You could have been rich. What are you talking about? The medallion. That medallion costs the life of a good man. Don't ever mention it to me again. Well, I can't. I lost it. Anyway, Pencroft, didn't you know that treasure was cursed, mate? I don't believe in curses. We'll be fine. Yeah. Well, Miss Jane. I could really do with uh, some fruit. Why don't you take the basket? And you can fill it with fruit for everyone. That I'll do. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
Bancroft went to get fruit. He's been gone a long time. Go look for him. Treasure? I don't think so. Thank <laughs> you. 
the hell is that? Oh, it's just a little spider. Huh, don't mind him. Come on. I hate spiders. Oh, no. Not again. What? Come and let him come to you. Fire away! Still worried about the gold. <laughs> Today we lay to rest the body of Colonel R.J. Pencroft. It seemed like a lifetime ago that we first met him at Libby Prison Camp. And while we didn't see eye to eye on most things, we are grateful and remember him for his help and sacrifice while he was with us. I never expected you to come through for me. But you did. You saved my life. Take that to my grave. I'm sorry you have lost your friend. Nemo, what are you doing here? I needed to come. If only for Joseph's sake. Where's Joseph, Captain? Also dead, I'm afraid. A victim of the pirates. I'm sorry to hear that. He was a good man. 
And it is because of him that I've come to help you. Help us? It's the volcano. I have sensors placed in all the critical areas. All the indications are there will be a massive eruption. How massive? This island and everything that is on it could be destroyed. We'll move to higher ground. No, when the volcano is done, there will be no higher ground on this island. That's the first eruption. You must go while there's still time. What should we do? I have a small boat moored on the far side of my compound. Is there room enough for all of us? Yes, just enough. Now, you must go. I will meet you there. Where are you going? I have to return to the Nautilus. I must save all of my papers, all of my work, the documentation of everything I have achieved. That's suicide, Captain. I won't let you do that. You must go. My life is meaningless without that work. I know you don't share my dream, Captain, but I believe that everything I've created here might change history. I know it will. We'll wait for you. No, you must not. Your duty is to save your friends and yourself.
the tale of the mysterious island, the island and its monsters, is ended. Captain Nemo is dead. His life's work destroyed. But thanks to him, we are alive and begin another journey. Our fate unknown. <laughs>